name is Peyton Kennedy. Uh, I am an actress from Toronto, Canada, but I live in Los Angeles now. Uh, I moved here at the end of 2017, so I've lived here for almost three years. And I got my start at CMTC uh, in 2011 when I was seven years old, which is kind of crazy to think about now. Uh, that was nine years ago, uh, which is just insane. But I started at CMTC. Um, I attended you know, a whole bunch of sessions there, like as many as I could, trying to, you know, soak up as much information as possible. Uh, and then I got an agent from there. And from there, I started taking acting classes. And then I started booking. Well, CMTC was great. It was such an awesome opportunity, um, you know, to start out in the industry. I mean, I was seven years old. So, you know, being like really being exposed to that age, I think was really beneficial for me. Um, but yeah, like I said, at CMTC, I attended, there were so many sessions that were offered, um, you know, a lot of different, um, not necessarily lectures or anything like that, but, um, you know, speakers and listening to people talk and, you know, going to like auditions. And um, so that was really amazing. Like definitely, going to as many sessions as possible and trying to learn as much from possible from people who actually had been in the industry, I think was definitely really, uh, really helpful for me. Yeah. And then, yeah, I got an agent from CMTC, which was so great for me. I was, you know, my seven year old heart was so happy when I it was actually funny when I started or when I told my mom that I wanted to be an actor, which was a few months prior, I think. Um, like every day after I told her I wanted to be an actor, I was like, did you get me an agent? Did you get me an agent? Like, that's how I thought it worked. Like you just sign up for one. <laughs> um, so like I asked her repeatedly for that. So then getting an agent from CMDC was, you know, so great. I was uh, really happy. And from there, I started taking acting classes at Armstrong Studios in Toronto um, with uh, Robert Kennedy, um, who's, I mean, he's still like a close friend with me now. We still do like Skype sessions for coaching and stuff like that. Um, and I started taking acting classes. And then from there, I, yeah, I started booking. My first thing I booked a uh, short film when I was eight. So like almost a year later, yeah. Okay, well definitely for like, as acting like as a role has definitely been um, my role as Kate Messner and Everything Sucks, um, which was the Netflix original that we did the summer before we moved here. So in summer of 2017, we filmed that. Um, and that was just the highlight of my career because it was so, you know, meaningful. First, like to me to play a character that was so meaningful to so many people was just so great as an actor, like having a role that you know has such an impact on other people that's just the most rewarding feeling ever, you know what I mean? I mean, like, I like to say, I think I, I think Jennifer Lawrence said it before, how it's like, you know, we don't save people, we're not like doctors or nurses or firefighters, but, um, you know, our work does have an impact on people and it's really meaningful, like, knowing that. So my character played um, a girl who's struggling with her sexuality in the 90s, and after the show came out, I got so many DMs, like, coming in, every day talking about how meaningful the character was to them and how it made them want to live and it made them you know feel okay in themselves and just having like that is so you know rewarding as an actor knowing that your work has such a vast effect on other people um so definitely that's been the most like that's been the highlight uh so far as like an acting experience um has been that role but i think uh also one another highlight was uh going to the Cannes film festival uh in 2014, I went uh, for the movie The Captive because that was just like so incredible for a 10 year old, you know, um, going to that festival and, you know, being surrounded by such, such amazing, like it's one of the most important um, film festivals in the world, you know what I mean? So it was just like so crazy. That was also definitely a highlight because it, it really, it was so great to go that and to experience all that. Well, I'm, I am an actor and a student at the same time. So my life is definitely characterized by having to balance those two um, because it you know takes so much for both of them to maintain them at the same time. Um, so I do, you know, I go to auditions or on days that I'm filming, like I'll film, but I also have to, you know, do my homework and, you know, catch up on my classes and everything like that. But definitely living in LA is, I mean, it's, it's insane. It's crazy. Like, thinking back to when I was seven years old at CMTC and then now like nine years later living in Los Angeles like I, I don't even think I could have fathomed that at that age that I would you know be here um, 
but it's it's great you know definitely i mean there's so many events and stuff happening so being invited to events or to premieres and stuff like that like that's just you know i think that's so incredible um you know being able to do that and get to attend all of those and be surrounded by different movies and you know definitely watching movies is so important for like har not harnessing your craft but you know like definitely um making yourself a better actor by watching other great actors so being having the opportunity to go to premieres and stuff like that is just incredible and i i can't i can't believe um you know that i'm here like thinking back to when i was seven years old and my seven-year-old self definitely would not be able to believe that at 16 i'd be living in los angeles well the audition process really varies for different um, projects like it really depends on the casting and it depends on the creators behind it so for everything sucks um, living in Toronto I just sent in a self tape that I did a self tape with Robert Kennedy who I mentioned before who is my acting coach um, so I did a self tape with him and I sent it in and then I didn't hear back for so long and I was like oh that really sucks you know not not hearing anything back from that one um, and then I heard something back and it was like oh the creators want to do a Skype like call back with you and I was like that's actually that's like that's crazy um so i did a skype callback with the creators um mike and ben um so that was the process for everything sucks but like for Grey's anatomy i went in to the room like with the casting directors on audition i think it was on like a thursday and i was filming on like the tuesday after wow. isn't that crazy yeah. uh yeah so a self-tape the process, uh, you know, it's almost the same as an audition. Uh, you get there, like, you know your lines already and you're already prepared for it. And it except, like, instead of being in a room with the casting directors, you're just in a room filming. And it can either be, like, with a coach or someone who's just filming it. So I used to do um, coaching with Robert Kennedy in Toronto. Now I just go to a studio and, um, like, someone films it and then all, and, like, reads with me and I'll um, like watch back myself and I'll give myself notes and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, definitely, I think definitely it's helpful to start out with a coach when you're first acting, like to find a good coach like that. Robert Kennedy definitely helped me so much when um, I was first starting out. Um, but yeah, so going in the room and getting coaching and it's just a lot more calming. I, I find it more calming to have a self tape where you're able to watch it back and like change what you want or it's, it's not necessarily like so, you just don't know what happens, right? Because in an audition room, uh, you go in there and you do it and then you don't know what it was like or you just have to go by your own impression of it. Um, but uh, the self-tape, my biggest tip is definitely to go in there um, prepared. Because I've had ones where I've had to go into the self-tape unprepared or like not knowing the lines as much if I've been, if I've had to like work or I've had um, other commitments like with school or something like that, um, where I've gone in like less prepared and that definitely uh, hinders my performance, I think. So definitely a good tip is to go in there prepared and already have, you know, choices and, and choices for the character and how you want to say the lines with that. Because even if you are having a coach who can help refine that, uh, it's really helpful to already have an idea in your head of what you want the audition to look like. Well, I mean, being on set for a series or being on set for anything is just incredible. Like being surrounded by a whole bunch of different actors that you are able to talk to and learn from. Um, and also around the crew and everyone, like definitely being able to appreciate like how something is made because you're on set, I find that um, incredible. But as for specifically on a series or for my experience with Everything Sucks or Grey's Anatomy, once again, it definitely varies um, based, on the, uh, based on the project for Everything Sucks. Um, it was almost like filming a big movie because we just filmed it for three months um, straight. We were all in Oregon together. Most of the cast members all lived in the same hotel. So we used to say it was like a summer camp <laughs> because it was all just like all of us together. We all had like a family vibe, you know what I mean? It was a first time pro or like a first time having such a major project for so many people that it was like a learning experience for all of us. Um, but then for Grey's Anatomy, with it being like I, I came on on the 14th and the 15th season so for that one uh, it was like a well-oiled machine like they knew exactly um you know what they wanted what they needed um and it was so it was, they were like so well prepared and not saying that everything sucks wasn't like well prepared it was just so um fast-paced because they knew exactly what they wanted uh so yeah it definitely varies based on um what 
project it is or what series it is. But being on set is always just so amazing, being around a whole bunch of actors and other people in the business who know what it's like and you can talk to and have shared experiences. Well, the thing is for both Betty and for Kate, like they're so different and for myself too, like they're all so different with Kate, you know, living in the 90s and Betty with her experience um, with drugs and being a teen mom, like they're all so different, but you can definitely find similarities in the fact that like we're all teenage girls, you know, which was definitely something that I um, went off of when I was preparing for the roles because I feel like teenage girls have so many shared experiences even how different their situations are. So going from that and from my own personal experiences, I think that definitely helped me with preparing for both of them, regardless of how different their situation was than mine. This one's definitely an easy one for me. I, um, <laughs> I just love becoming a different character and being someone else. Like it's the most, exhilarating enjoyable experience for me being able to step into someone else's shoes and you know take on their experience in their own situation while also applying my own experience like i was saying my own experience like as a teenager or as a teenage girl um like applying my experience to being someone who's entirely different and has a completely different world view and different experience and in a different situation it's just so much fun for me to be able to become someone else i just i love that so much even even being an audition, like being in an audition, um, even if that's like 30 seconds of being someone else, it's just so exciting for me, like completely forgetting, you know, myself and just being someone else entirely. I love it. Oh, definitely through acting classes. Acting classes is, I mean, especially in times where you're not getting many auditions or you know, not many self tapes or anything like that, or you're not working, because it's definitely unpredictable in this industry what roles they're writing. And if you're not getting auditions, then like there's nothing you can do about that um, because they're just not writing characters that apply to you. But so in those times, and also when you're acting, acting classes are just so important for me. So you don't, I don't know, it's like, it's like a muscle memory type thing, you know? It's like, so you don't forget it and you keep, you're able to keep being different people and keep, um, learning, you know, that's really important um, is learning because even if like even the most accomplished actor or whatever still can learn different things, you know, they, there's not a point where your learning stops. So uh, going to acting classes definitely to um, continue working on your craft when you're not working or even when you are, I think it's the most helpful thing ever because there's always more that you can learn and always more that you can apply to how you go about portraying other characters. Um, so definitely acting classes and that also watching movies, watching TV, like watching good projects with good actors in them. It's, I think it's a great way to, uh, you know, keep working on your craft because you're able to admire other actors and, and pay attention to how, how well they do their job and you can learn from that. Try to soak it all in. Like there's so many opportunities that CMTC offers and so many people that you can hear talk and so many people that you can meet and it's so important at a convention like CMTC to just learn as much as you possibly can you know like that's a one in a lifetime opportunity so taking advantage of everything that's offered for you um, is definitely super helpful um, it was super helpful for me when I was seven and I still take things that I learned there um, where I am now nine years later in Los Angeles so definitely taking advantage of as much as you possibly can and also, um, I mean, specific to acting is, I think you should definitely keep being true to yourself no matter who, or ma no matter what role your playing is, because, you know, it's, it's you portraying another character, you know? So you have to have elements of you brought in so you have those connections that are made between those two people or else it just comes across as false. So I think definitely staying true to yourself when portraying other characters and also like in the acting business, um, saying true to yourself is so important, you know, you can't like go around pretending to be another person, pretending to be another person, you know what I mean? You have to, um, you know, stay humble and stay true to yourself when, you know, in all situations in acting. Um, and then the third thing is that remembering that this is a business. Um, that was the most important thing, like my mom told me that when I first said I want to be an actor, is that this is a business like any other business. You know, a lot of people, I feel like, get into the industry because, you know, of the, how much they want the fame or 
the glory or the, all that, but it's it's not guaranteed like that. And especially if you're going after fame and glory, like that's not sustainable. Um, you have to want it um, as an industry, as the business that it is, and take that for what it is and not um, your idealist version of it.